But then again, you played most of the third team defense the whole game, and people wanted to wave the flag like he was all that too. So it's like I've never really seen him. I would have loved to see what he would have looked like against you guys week one. Yes. Um, and I know you got the team that you got, but like it's a true number one defense. It, that depth chart was all number one guys that you felt were starters, right? So I would have loved to see that out of him. I think the hype with J.J. was the fact that he does things well enough that they believe that they can mold him if they get a Sam Darnold in there that's able to teach him a little bit and tighten the screws. Because what a lot of people would think about what I'd said about my evaluations is that I hate the kid. The only the only reason I kept bringing him up in the offseason is because you had a dude at Bo Nix, 4,500 yards, 45 touchdowns, three interceptions, and then you have J.J. McCarthy, what, 2,300 yards and barely 20 touchdowns like all year. And it's like, if you talk good about this dude that didn't really have that production and handed it off, he threw the ball eight times against Penn State. But you don't want to give love to Bo Nix and say that he's a check down merchant? Mm -hmm. 700 yards were off of his check down. So what are we talking about? What happened to the other 30-something, you know, 3,000 yards that, that came right. after that? It's because people don't really watch. They, they, they hear everybody else talk. And that's where the, those comparisons always came up for me. And I'm like, you can't have one without the other because it doesn't make sense. 